And one of the things about durood or salah on the Prophet ﷺ, you know, we're saying, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad, uh, one good thing that I would suggest is to read all of your regular recitations before salah. So your your uh, Surah Al-Ikhlas, Surah Al-Falaq, Surah Al-Nas, Ayat Al-Kursi, all of the du'as. Uh, and then as you go to sleep, just make salah on the Prophet ﷺ because that's supposed to be calming. It's supposed to have a calming and relaxing um, effect. Um, and you can actually explain why that is. Right? Based on the hadith, whoever makes a dua for his brother behind his back, then the angel says, Ameen, and may you have the same. Ameen, wa laka mithlu. Right? Um, so, what are you doing when you're saying, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad? What are you saying? You're making dua on the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa right? So, dua on the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa results in what? The angel saying, Ameen, wa laka mithlu. The angel is saying, Ameen, may your dua be accepted and may you have the same. So Allah is on the one hand sending blessings and peace on the Prophet ﷺ, but also sending blessings and peace upon you. Right? Hence the calming influence of, of the Salah on the Prophet ﷺ. Right? So that's why. Whenever you feel tension, you feel anxiety, you feel anger. Um, one of the things that I used to do in exams is keep doing salah on the process until I've calmed down and then open the paper. Alright? This will work every time. Okay? It's brilliant. So it's it's very, very good calming technique. Okay? Uh, the Arabs, you know, often when two people argue, they say, Salli ala nabi. <laughs> right? And you know, send blessings on the Prophet. Because it calms the city, it diffuses. And it's, it's brilliant when you actually see it in action, right? Two Arabs arguing, ah! And then somebody says, Salli ala nabi. And it's brilliant when they actually respond. And they go, Allah salli ala nabi. <laughs> <laughs> and the argument is finished. MashaAllah. It's amazing. Because you know when Arab brothers and sisters argue, right? It sounds a lot worse. Yeah? So then, Allah salli ala nabi. And that's said in anger as well. But then it has the desired effect. And it diffuses. MashaAllah. Anyway. So, so remember, so there's an interesting explanation. And one other thing about the power of salli ala nabi is that uh, Allah, you have to understand that if now what's happening is uh, you're, obviously the durood is being sent upon you, right? So I've established that based on one hadith. And of course then there's the obvious hadith. Whoever sends salah on me once, Allah sends salah on him ten times. Man salla alayhi wa hadithin sallallahu alayhi wa shah. Then comes the effect of increasing salah on the Prophet Wasallam, which is, Allah says in the Qur'an, in that same dhikr ayah, He says, يَا أَيُّهُ الَّذِينَ آمُنُوا اذْكُرُوا اللَّهَ ذِكْرًا كَثِيرًا O believers, remember Allah abundantly, uh, and glorify Him morning and evening. And then Allah says, هُوَ الَّذِي يُصَلِّي عَلَيْكُمْ He is the one who makes salah upon you, I meaning Allah. He is the one who makes salah upon you, sends salawat upon you. And salawat are defined as, as Showering Allah showering His mercy and grace. That's what salah upon someone means, right? So He's the one who sends salah upon you, and so do His angels when they pray for salah upon you. Why do they do it? What happens as a result of that salah upon you? لِيُخْرِجَكُمْ مِنَ الظُّلُمَاتِ إِلَى النُّورِ So that He may take you out of darknesses into light. And therefore, salah on the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is a, one of the effects that is expected is a person finding it easier to remain upon truth and avoid falsehood. It's like a guidance from Allah. Salah on the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is like a guidance from Allah. Why? Because Allah says in the Quran that when He sends salah upon you, He takes you out of darkness and into Light. So how? So so. Therefore, now you have to think. Well, how do I increase salah upon myself? Well, what does the hadith say? The hadith says, if you want to increase salah upon yourself, send salah on the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Khalas. You, you make the connection. It's very very simple.